Can you see me clear in there? Is it good? I know it's been a while. I know you missed me. Can you see him? I censored myself because my mom be watching these and I love you, mom. But, wave, wave, you, you, are you, this is episode two for season two. This is a big deal, so, yeah. Another Beats and Brews pie. What was that? Are those birds? Did y'all see? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a pirate for a second. You know what I mean? Wait, oh, oh, baby, no. <laughs> I do that to pay them people, but, uh. Yo, that's right, man. It's time for the song and dance. It's your boy Rob Dorsey, man. Your friendly neighborhood nerd. And I'm here with my main man. Nerd up, JL. That's right, man. And we back with another episode of Beats and Brews Podcast. That's season right. 2. Episode 2. It's about to be a good one. And we got a really good beer today. From our favorite brewery. Well, one of our favorite breweries. Southern Tier. And uh good thing about it is it's got some, you know, I mean, it's got a little writing on the label. Got a story. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. uh, we like stories here at the Beats and Brews podcast. So, Dale, you want to tell us what's going on with that thing? Let's see. We got a Manhattan. Uh, it says, uh, introducing the Manhattan L. Inspired by the ever timeless cocktail, we brewed this L with cherry juice, orange peel, and coriander. Is that, am I saying that right? Well, coriander. Yeah, coriander, mm. then aged it to perfection in bourbon barrels. It's a midtown metamorphosis that harmoniously brings our two passions to life in one glass. Okay. Cheers twice over. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Then it also says, are we craft brewery? Are we, are we a craft distillery? Yes and yes. So it made sense. In our mind to create the Barrel Work series, new beers inspired by classic cocktails. Bottled November 2016, mm. 14.1 alcohol by volume. Ooh. So that seemed like something serious, guys. That sounds official. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And you was, you was reminding me of Morgan Freeman a little bit, man, the way you was up there narrating, <laughs> narrating that brew right there. You feel me? I'm just saying, man. Word. If y'all need some voiceover work, jail's available. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hit me up. Word. Let's get this thing going, man. And I'm excited about it, you know? And we got some we got some glasses that we're going to use because it's only one bottle. Right. And you know what I mean? I don't know how jail been feeling, but I've been a little under the weather. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't be passing no germs on to my cuz, man. That ain't right. If you're out there sharing bottles and you know you're sick, you nasty. You dirty. And, you know, I hope you never get better. Well, you know what? Never mind. I hope you always get better. That way you don't get nobody sick. It's much love. But yeah, this is, this is, mmm, slow pour. Now, as y'all know, Southern Tier, being one of our favorite breweries, we know a little bit about them. And uh, they got a, they got a pretty special, you know, connection with the Beach and Brews podcast. And um, one thing, they are based in New York, but what we discovered is they also, have a, a base of operations in Pennsylvania and Pittsburgh. So that's two thank you, cuz. Mm. That's two very uh and the color is, is 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 really nice. It's mighty nice. Yeah. I might say. And that smell is crazy. Whoa. Yeah, it's crazy right here. That's a wild smell. I, I got a feeling that you know it kinda smell like a barley. It does, yeah. Word. So, for y'all that don't know, what J.L. just said, barley. It's a barley wine. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are very sweet, very strong. Yeah. And um, being as though this is 14.1%, it definitely can fall in the in, in line to be a barley wine ale, like easy. Right. Word. And, um, you know, this is barrel aged. I don't know what did it say what kind of barrels it was aged in? Was it whiskey barrels? I believe it was just whiskey, I believe. More than likely, shoot, man. No, and, bourbon barrels. Oh, bourbon barrels? Yeah. yeah, bourbon. That's the type of whiskey. Yeah. It's like Tennessee 
you yeah. know, American, you know, American whiskey, real American, American whiskey, America. And I'm not mad at it, but you know, it smells good. It's been a really good year for for BA beer. So you know, BA short for barrel aged. You know, since uh, I've been getting real big in the yeah crab brew circuit. You know, what I mean, I'll be learning abbreviations, <laughs> learn some abbreviations. Definitely remind me of barley. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Definitely remind me of a Manhattan, too. Yeah. This is like Manhattan nights. <laughs> like, <laughs> go out there just drive around Manhattan in the nighttime, like Times Square. Like, this tastes like, this tastes like a neon sign. Like, you would see <laughs> you driving around New York <laughs> at night. But I like it. Mm-hmm. I probably should have washed these glasses out a little better before we put this. This is my bed. That's my bed. I, you know, I, every time I go for a whiff, I'm like, man, that smells like fucking old glass. And I don't mean, I, I, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do I, I should have just drank it out the bottle. And, and hey, shit, forget about it. But let me, go, let this me is see. Good. So how are we going to incorporate this with hip hop, man? Here's what. So here's the thing. Good people. Mm-hmm. This beer is bridging the gap in two ways. You know what I mean? And what we do here at the Beats and Brews podcast is we bridge the gap between beer and hip hop. Right. Boom. In a different way because it's been bridged. You know, there was, there's been, there's been malt liquor all over hip hop since the 90s. It is what it is, you know. They exploit great stuff when they see it. And, you know, hip-hop is great. So, what we're doing is bridging the gap between this these good quality beers and hip-hop music and hip-hop listeners and, you know, everybody in between, man. So, this beer is very special because, number one, the brewery, Southern Tier, based in Man... Or, I'm sorry, based in New York... But also, they have operations in Pennsylvania, you know. So that is a really dope thing. And also, they're bridging the old school classic Manhattan drink with the uh, newly popular barrel-aged craft beer. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So they're bridging uh, old and new, New York and PA. I feel like, and we, we definitely had a consult about this. Right. But um, I feel like there's only one place to go when you want to talk about bridging old school, new school, New York and PA. Mm-hmm. And uh, you want to tell them? I don't know. You want to tell them? Uh, the roots, man. We had to say the roots. The roots. You know, uh, fresh out of Philadelphia, uh, mm-hmm. you know, doing a lot of work. For years in New York, you know what I mean? Yeah. Thanks Steph Fallon, Jimmy Fallon? Yeah, yeah. Jimmy Fallon show. Yup. You no know, holding it down. And they classic, you know? It's that yeah. classic hip hop too, you know what I mean? Where? Shout out to Black Thought too. That's my dog. Yeah, yeah. Quest Love too. Quest Love, the you man. Know? You know what I'm saying? Everybody else that we don't know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Sorry about that. We ain't gonna be faking Google your names. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? We... <laughs> You know what? We, we could. We, but nah, we ain't going to do that. It's just, you know, it's love, man. You know, it's my man with the with the wild hair that be on the bass. Yeah. He's a beast. Um, the dude that be on the keyboard. I'm just assuming y'all got keyboarders. <laughs> <laughs> I just know lyrics, man. I don't be knowing the band. I don't know the band mates. Right. I love y'all. So yeah, my favorite song for them is, I say what, man? And like, I like it because it's, you know, super groovy. Mm. They 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 basically building the whole song. Jam um, session. Yeah, the jams. It's like a jam session, mm. and that's one of my favorite parts of hip hop. You know mm. what I'm saying? That was always one of my favorite parts of being in live shows when you know people decided to ju- to just do uh, a jam session, and like you know the drummers always snapped, mm-hmm. and then um, on there Black Thought was doing. So he would rap a couple bars, but before he would do the bars, he would. Be beatboxing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then Quest Love will match it when he done with them bars. And um, it was just crazy. It was just crazy. And then who can't who can't relate to say what man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, like right. It, it's it's just it's like 
that's so that's so nineties that it's seventies. You know what I mean? Right, right. And I'm cool with that. I really love that. Classic. You know what I mean? Word. How about you, man? Uh, me. I had to say the one with uh even Erica Badu. Mm. What's the name? What's the title to that? You got me. You got me. Yeah, yeah. Baby, no way. Yeah, I'd say that's my favorite. I bet who I saw her. And break you off too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, with music. But that one that you uh just like the uh video that you was mentioning earlier. Mm-hmm. Like when it was like it kind of like the same scenery, like you know, like how big and them used to do with the videos. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They were yeah. sitting at the uh, table pool side yeah. with the crystal. Never do. Yeah, yeah. He snapped what on that. They do what yeah. they do. Black dog went in on that joint right there. Yeah, man, they got they've got not only really dope sounds, but you know the messages. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And the lyrics. Real lyrical. Word, like yeah. come on, man. You can't you can't deny, you know, what what they've been doing for these years. And uh, you know, and and not only what they've done, but what they're doing now too. Mm-hmm. So like they're bridging gaps all over the world. Mm-hmm. You know, the reason why um it really dawned on us to to really uh to, to shout them out on this episode be- is because, you know, they came from Philly. Now they're in, you know, they're in downtown Manhattan at the Radio City Music Hall doing music for Jimmy Fallon. You know what I mean? Right. And even every night, even though, you know, they're like the house band, they hip hop it up all the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Quest Love is free. I mean, um, sorry. Black Thoughts freestyling almost every night right. on the Jimmy Fallon right. show. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, uh, He's bridging gaps all over the place. They bridging gaps all over the place just off of doing that. You know what I mean? So let me just, can we do a cheers to them dudes? Cheers to that. You know what I mean? A 14% cheers. Bang. And um, mm. if y'all looking for this beer, good luck, number one. Number two, it's a limited release. That kind of goes with number one. That's like number one, A. And uh, <laughs> number two, you gotta be ready to pay a little something for that thing right there. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That that beer is, is like almost as much as I want to charge for the beer that I made right. with the lady. Right. That 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 uh that uh pumpkin pumpkin apple cider. Mm. And um yeah, it's like that. It's like that. So but it's fourteen percent, so like Yeah. What is that? Thirty six thirty eight proof? That's thirty eight proof. So like you know you got a little you got a little a little bite say you say you drink that whole bottle by yourself you are gonna feel good yeah you can drink half of it you are gonna be feeling buzz like a mug for real you're gonna be outside in this weather we on the east coast I don't know if y'all watching on the west coast or not you are gonna be drinking that in this weather and be warm it right. was cold down here yeah we I'm can see our up. breath I'm definitely warmed up <laughs> we can see our breath five minutes ago <laughs> and I was like. I ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, man, that's the that's the power of the Manhattan. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's the power of bridging the gap. And like, how would you say, cause Tariq, aka Black Thought, bridged the gap even further in these days? Right now? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh I went in, well. I mean, it's just really him being him, you know, mm-hmm. sticking to his roots, you know, that's crazy. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, he's still showing like this younger generation, like, you know, what what that raw hip hop is. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Lyricism. You know what I mean? In right. The, in the in the in the generation right now, where you know, people not as lyrical, and you know, it's all about the bounce. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, about yeah. the beat, and you know what I'm saying? Right. He, he, you know what I mean? But it's also artists out here, younger artists that are lyrical, and, you know, they pay big respects to him, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, the guys. And, and, you know, I'm sure that he has this few that he, he listened to and respect, you know what I mean, as well. So mm-hmm. I would say, like, him still being in the game kind of, like, bridges that gap for younger artists that's coming up, still being lyrical and, you know, keeping it, Raw hip hop, you know what I mean. I think mm-hmm. he, he's like one of the people, amongst the other few that you know, younger guys could look up to and see like you know what I mean. This is how it's done, you know what I mean. Right. So, what did he? What did he? Did he like? 
what could you like point to, right? If somebody that's like 20 years old came up to you and was like, yo, what can I watch or listen to from these dudes that, you know, will show me what a what a what a rapper's supposed to do? What could you point them in a the direction to from new? What I could point them in a the direction to? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me, the show them what not to do. No, no, no show them what to show do. Show what not to do, I'm saying. But oh, I... what I'm saying was, you know, a few weeks ago, you know, and, you know, Meth, shout out Meth, Meth, my, my dog, you know what I mean? Oh, you know what I'm saying? snap. But, you know, I think, you know, Meth didn't get too much slack for it, you know what I mean? Because, you yeah. know, he already a legend in the game. Right. But, you know, him and, uh, I believe it was Sway in the morning. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was either Sway or somewhere else, but, you know, they went up there freestyling. Him and, uh, him and Black Thought. Right. You know, Black Thought up there killing it, you know what I mean? Going yeah. in, yeah. going in. Yeah. You know, and meth goes in but meth get to read not his phone you know what I'm saying like <laughs> you know if you can't do that like you know what yeah, I mean back to the day up. in hip hop you know what I mean right, like yeah. and no granted I understand meth busy you know you know what I mean yeah. you know what I mean you know he you know he in the movies and acting and all that but oh, yeah. come on meth man you know like you don't do that <laughs> man that's like pulling your Brian book out in the cipher man you know you don't do that oh man, man shout out to cannabis you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> cannabis all uh, man Word. But yeah, Black Thought definitely like you know, you know, stay sharp. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what it, that's what it's about. Be on, you know. I feel like, and then just when he was on, you know, on the Funk Flex when he went with ten minutes straight. Ten minutes straight. Ten minutes straight, dog. Fire. Flows crazy. You know what I mean? How you do that? All lyricism. You know, you know what I mean? Mm. Where he said lyricism. Mm. That's how you know. Lyricism. <laughs> That's his Manhattan right here. That's that Manhattan. He, he talking that Manhattan talk. <laughs> Lyricism. <laughs> about to make that a new word. Word. That sound like a, it sounds like an acne cream. What's that <laughs> acne? <laughs> Lyricism. That's that Lyricism. <laughs> you need to cut that shit out. You need to stop it. Oh, word, snap. Word, man. But I think that's how he like, you know what I mean? That's something that, uh, you know, people that, that you could point out. And he also acting, too. Um, yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, what's that show? I just came out. Um, him and Meth. You know, that's what they was promoting. Him and Meth is on so HBO. Oh wow. Um, oh, I forget the name of it. Is it they the white like, famous joint? Nah, they on there. They like pimps on there. <laughs> Where? Yeah, it's dope too. Oh, dope show. It's like based off in the seventies and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but that's dope though. Like, yeah. He doing his acting thing too. That's what's up, man. I you know that. Yeah, I forget the name of it. It's crazy. Well, if y'all know the name of the show, put it in the comments, man. I'm about to find and out right now. Also, if y'all got a favorite Roots song, throw it in the comments. Put some links in the comments for the Roots. Um, I'm gonna probably link their channel in the in the description because they got a they got a Vivo channel. You can check out all their new stuff. Check out all the old stuff, man. Everything from the Roots and um and from Black Thought. The Deuce, that's what it's called. The, the Deuce. Deuce. Yeah. Oh man. The Deuce. That's what's up. I like the Deuce. Show. I, I, you know, yeah, I, 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 had, I, had, I had to do this earlier shit. <laughs> it was a good one too. It was only one season. <laughs> Yo, it was that. One season. It was a couple. It was a couple. It was a couple dramatic episodes, but it was. It was. Uh, <laughs> we got through it. <laughs> the pilot really took off, man. It was. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, though, man. <laughs> Post production was 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 fun. It was it was crazy. It was it was a rap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man, what has this show turned into? Mm. <laughs> Love beats and bruises, man. Love beats and bruises. But yeah, man, spread the word about the nerd. And then uh. You know, just 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 be ready for dopeness, man. Word. You feel me? Put some uh beer requests down too, man, so we can yes. check some out. Uh straight up. Yeah, man. Let yeah. us know. Let us know what to try out. Put some respect on my name too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, I just wanted to throw that out there. Word. Now I can put that in the hashtag. Maybe we can start training on on YouTube. <laughs> That'd be hot. 
You know what I mean? But yeah, like, I mean, so so in closing, though, mm-hmm. let's do a closeout real quick. So like in closing, when it comes to this brew, right, and the roots, what's that streamlined, that streamlined bridge that you can make between, you know, this beer, whether it be the flavors, the character of it, the color, like anything about this beer and the roots. Like, what is it that, that you could say, yeah, the roots in this beer, they go hand in hand. Other than the fact that it's made with a Manhattan, <laughs> it's a classic, you know? Yeah. Roots are a classic group, you know what I mean? True. You know, I think that, that would be my thing. Okay, okay. I'm like here, like with me, so just tasting it, right? Just tasting this beer. You really get a lot of smoothness, you know, in all, every single flavor. Oh, I'm about to go. Oh, I'm about to take it. Okay. I'm about to take it there. So every single flavor that's described on this bottle right here, you really, you really taste it. Like you taste the oranges, you taste the cherry juice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Forgot what else they said on there, but don't don't judge me. <laughs> but uh, you taste every single flavor on there, man. Everything stands out in its own way. It serves its purpose. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to the roots, there's really no superstars, man. Everybody serves their purpose. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The roots, as an entity, is the superstar. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You you really you really get you know the full package when you get this beer and when you get the roots and that's the bridge that I see and I appreciate it I appreciate what y'all do and um, thanks man keep it up you know what I'm saying word up word I want to hear some more new stuff let us know some word like send me an email man <laughs> but yeah man so other than that man it's been your boy Rob Dorsey here for the Beast of Brews podcast with my main man nerd up J.O. and drink a beer man word up word to the nerd oh and listen to new good hip hop <laughs> J.O. got an album coming out soon I'm <laughs> I wouldn't don't, don't you know what I mean Yo, I gotta get to that, man. You know, word. I'm gonna definitely go, get back in the lab, though. Yeah, y'all gonna be, y'all gonna be, y'all gonna be. Shoot, what was I about to say? Y'all gonna have some, some, some dope on your hands once that happens. Just so you know. But yeah, man. Until then, did you hear my elbow? That was bad. <laughs> I gotta do that again because of the. <laughs> yeah. I know the microphone picked it up. That's only bad, cause that is a big. That is a big <laughs> wave for the album. All right, one more time. It's gonna. Ha- it, it happens every time. Damn. I do it slow like that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Damn, my eyes was messed up. All right. I- <laughs> what a day this has turned out to be like we out here just chilling alright alright these are brews out <laughs> I think that'll work <laughs>